Turkey has developed a powerful air defense system over the past decades. The country has increased its focus on air defense technology to address growing threats in the region. This increase becomes increasingly important considering the continuously changing geopolitical situation in the Middle East region and beyond. With threats ranging from ballistic missiles to unmanned aircraft, Turkey has prioritized developing an air defense system that can deal with these various types of threats. One of Turkey's most well-known air defense systems is the medium-range air defense system developed by the Turkish defense company, Roketsin. This system is designed to protect Turkish territory from various air threats, including air attacks and ballistic missiles. Turkey has produced and used various types of air defense missiles, including medium-range and short-range air defense missiles. One of the most famous missile systems is Hisar, which has the ability to track and target enemy aircraft and missiles. The development of this air defense technology has also led Turkey to become an exporter of air defense systems that is increasingly being taken into account in the international market. Systems such as Hisar and Sungur have attracted interest from other countries that also face similar threats. However, the development of a national air defense system consisting of several components, including missiles, radar, and mobile air defense systems to protect the country's territory from air threats such as fighter planes and missiles. Turkey's decision to develop the system caused controversy as some countries, especially Turkey's neighbors, feared that Turkey's increased air defense capabilities could change the balance of power in the region. One of the main concerns is that Turkey's new air defense system could provide a significant strategic advantage in the ongoing regional conflict. Apart from that, concerns also arise from countries involved in geopolitical competition in the Mediterranean Sea and in the regions of Greece and Cyprus. They believe that improving Turkey's air defense capabilities could increase tensions in the region and even trigger a larger conflict. However, Turkey defended its decision to develop a new air defense system, describing it as a natural step in strengthening the country's defense capabilities and ensuring national security. The Turkish government emphasized that this step was aimed at protecting the country's sovereignty and not to pose a threat to other countries. Despite this, Controversy continues, with some neighboring countries demanding further steps to defuse tensions and ensure that Turkey's development of an air defense system does not undermine fragile regional stability. In the future, reactions and responses to this move will continue to be closely monitored due to its impact on the region. In addition, the development of this domestic air defense system has also caused tensions with NATO's allies, who tend to prefer U.S. or European-made air defense systems. Reactions from other NATO allies to the development of Turkey's air defense system have also included opposition to the integration of Turkey's air defense system with other NATO systems. These tensions represent a serious challenge to NATO's collective defense coordination, while Turkey, as an important member of the alliance, is increasingly pursuing an independent defense policy.
As developments continue, this issue will likely continue to be a source of tension within the NATO alliance and influence security dynamics in the region. Thus, significant achievements and progress in the development of air defense systems also come with challenges. However, these efforts demonstrate Turkey's commitment to safeguarding its sovereignty and national security amidst a changing security environment. However, Turkey defended its decision to develop a new air defense system, describing it as a natural step in strengthening the country's defense capabilities and ensuring national security. The Turkish government emphasized that this step was aimed at protecting the country's sovereignty and not to pose a threat to other countries. Despite this, controversy continues, with some neighboring countries demanding further steps to defuse tensions and ensure that Turkey's development of an air defense system does not undermine fragile regional stability. In the future, reactions and responses to this move will continue to be closely monitored due to its impact on the region. In addition, the development of this domestic air defense system has also caused tensions with NATO's allies, who tend to prefer U.S. or European-made air defense systems. Reactions from other NATO allies to the development of Turkey's air defense system have also included opposition to the integration of Turkey's air defense system with other NATO systems. These tensions represent a serious challenge to NATO's collective defense coordination, while Turkey, as an important member of the alliance, is increasingly pursuing an independent defense policy. As developments continue, this issue will likely continue to be a source of tension within the NATO alliance and influence security dynamics in the region. Thus, significant achievements and progress in the development of air defense systems also come with challenges. However, these efforts demonstrate Turkey's commitment to safeguarding its sovereignty and national security amidst a changing security environment.